Hello everyone. I'm about to show you the next uh, step to plaster clothing our figure. So last week we should have had a figure should be taped down pretty clearly like this. He should not have anything sticking up. He also should be able to stand. If he can't stand, I can provide you with a bigger stand or more tape. The next thing we're going to need to do is you should also have a cup of water. Gloves need to be on. Make sure you're not touching your face. This is called plaster cloth. You will have a large strip of this each and you will have your own scissors which will uh, you will need to cut smaller pieces. So about the size piece you need is should be about like that big. Okay, so that is a pretty small strip. Um, you're going to take it and dunk it in the water this and you're going to use your other hand hold it using two fingers and using these fingers you're going to and it just should be a nice small piece you're going to start actually at the base you're not going to start at the top the reason why you're not going to start at the top is uh, this stuff will become very heavy and when it becomes heavy uh, it's going to make it flop over so if we start at the base guess what it's going to be strong at the bottom and then as you're moving up the top it is going to uh, stay in place. The next piece we're going to put and again you're going to dip it in the water do the same thing you're going to be doing this a lot of times. Uh, you're going to try to cover a new area. You're not going to stick it on the same spot but the next spot you should pick should be a place that is just overlapping. So we're going to slightly overlap and I'm going to pick this spot over here and you're going to rub, when you rub on it you'll notice the little holes disappear. I call this the smooth master. So uh, if you want to be a smooth master and you don't want to see a lot of those holes you're just going to need to rub on it. And again we can turn this around. Oh, oh he's sticking to this, okay. So you can see uh, how this works. So it's going to go in there. You're not going to leave it in there. And this water will eventually, hopefully, um, go down so that we'll be able to throw this out. Again, none of this water may go down the sink. Absolutely not. If it has plaster in it, it will definitely clog the sink. So we need to be super careful of that. So the next piece I'm going to put down is going to be again next to it. You can put it on the base. And the reason why we can do that is because your name should not be anywhere on his body or the base. Your name should be written across the bottom. I'm not going to show you because I didn't put my name on it. Whoops. But you guys know to have your name. Sharpie marker is probably best, but if you have it in pencil, at least hopefully we may be able to read it. It's going to get a little dirty on the bottom. So you're going to be working from the bottom up. You're not just going to work one leg though, so you're going to need to eventually at some point you're going to need to um, move over. Now it might be a good idea to actually cut yourself up several strips at once. I'm going to actually do that. You're not going to have little pieces like this. You're going to have one big long strip you're going to need to cut up most likely because this will be used up. This is leftover from our snowman that we made last year with my second graders. So I'm trying to use up the old stuff first. And I'm going to just cut up a whole few of them. All right, I'm going to stop there. I'm going to put it in there again, dunk it. I'm holding it with two fingers, little scissors, and then I'm going to put it on his other foot before I get too further, too close up the top. So I'm going to keep on working my way up, smoothing as I go. Dip, squeegee it out, put it on top. And you want to keep on hitting new areas, but making sure that you overlap the very last area that you just used. The reason why you want to do that is because it is still wet and it will adhere to it much better when both areas are wet. If you do it and you do a piece here, a piece there, a piece there, they're all the pieces are just going to fall off. You do not want that. You want everything to stick together. So again, the next piece I'm going to put is going to be over here. You're going to need to turn your guy from time to time. So I'm not going to just focus on the front because otherwise the back 
going to need to look at it from different angles. This is a 3D sculpture that we are making. So therefore, you're going to need to see him from every angle. I'm going to bend him just a little bit. There we go, because he does need to stand. He's acting up on me. Here we go. Again, squeegee it out. And I'm going to make sure I get the back of the foot also. I'm going to smooth that on out. You don't really want to get too much on the bottom of the cardboard because that's where his stand is. That will help him stand. If you put too much on there, it'll make the stand wobbly and then he'll have a hard time standing up. He already does have a hard time standing up. Um, and then again, I'm going to just be careful. Now you might need just like one finger to put it in the middle. And then it's going to go around. And I'm going to keep on moving up. I'm not going to do the whole thing and make you watch me do the whole thing. But hopefully you guys are getting the idea that you're going to be moving up, bottom up, and you are putting it in, squeegeeing it out. You are going to need a lot of pieces. And you're going to put it around his leg like that. And it should be touching the last piece that you used. So I'm going to show you what it looks like so far. So it looks like he's got some boots on. His heavy boots out of this wet plaster cloth will make it strong. Now this will dry. Um, and it dries pretty quickly actually. It's not going to dry while you're watching it, but by the end of class today, uh, there's a good chance that some of it will be actually seem uh, slightly hard. Uh, and that's the idea. You want it to be solid so that we can paint them and decorate them. You can give them some yarn, glue some yarn on, felt next week. We're going to have a lot of fun with this figure. Um, and I keep on going up the legs like this. So it's like a wrap. And you're going to wrap and rub. Every piece has to touch the last piece. I can't say that often enough. It's super important. I'm going to stop there because I don't want to take up all of your, all your time. Okay. Uh, good luck, and I will see you in my next video.